What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are back with a Showtime Fortress card player update I suppose. I mean yeah there's been a bit of a mess with this one. Obviously yesterday they released these cards after the maintenance and then there was emergency maintenance and when people logged back in they had removed these packs so you were not able to spin these packs. Uh, you were able to spin them for like two hours. People obviously got some of the players um, and then obviously you know other people weren't able to spin them because they removed them. So when the maintenance ended yesterday they had this message where they had the players removed uh, that you just saw there. So Van Dijk, Silva and Militao were removed yesterday on Thursday and they said that they had discovered an error in the player skill description. So how they had defined the skill fortress, right? We'll get into that in a second towards the end of the video. It's only a short video anyway, but basically they said that they're planning to reintroduce them on the 10th of March, which is today. Uh, at time of recording, the players are here. We're going to show you just here right now. But they also said that we'd be getting some compensation and that they would be reintroducing them after the maintenance and after the skill was updated, right? So as you can see here now, we are live in the game and this is the players that you can get here. It's 150 in the box, similar to the Haaland, uh, Kane and Oshman pack. You've now got Thiago Silva, Van Dijk and Militao. I've done a review on these. We've talked a lot about these players. I will be doing a live stream later as well in about two hours from the time of recording this video. We'll be going on and trying to get a couple of these players to test them out and see what the fuss is all about. But we have done a review on them based on their cards and based on their standard player cards as well but yeah this you can see down in the bottom corner he does have the fortress playing skill and this is the update information that we got the statement right so it says due to an error in the player skill description of the showtime fortress skill in languages other than Japanese and Korean, we have temporarily suspended the effective player list from the 9th to the 10th. We'd like to emphasize that the player skill fortress only affects the player possessing the skill and does not provide any advantage to other players on the team. We sincerely apologize for any confusion caused. As an apology, all users who installed the app and completed the tutorial by the 10th have been sent a 10,000 GP compensation. In addition, players who have signed play or users who have signed players from the fortress pack uh, will receive full reimbursement of all eFootball coins. So this looks like if you had if you had spent a thousand or two thousand coins and you'd packed one or two of these guys, you get to keep them and you get your coins back. So yeah, I mean that's I, I think that's the way they're kind of looking at it, right? So when we get our login bonus here now, as you see, I'm doing it in real time. You get our ten thousand GP uh, uh, for the apology. Um, it could have given us a free spin, man. A free pa big pack spin would have been nice. But we get our GP there. And then when we go in to actually look at the player skills in-game as they are now, they have updated the Fortress skill, right? So this is how they define the Fortress skill that they added to those three unique cards. Similar to the Phenomenal Finishing, they have now said that Fortress, and it's defined as it improves a player's defensive abilities after the second half mark, as long as the team has a goal advantage. So that basically means that if you're leading 1-0 going in at half time, that defender that you get, either Silva, Van Dijk or Militao, is going to get a defensive boost to his stats, right? Now, when we go back and look at the previous description of Fortress, the one that they removed... This is the previous description. It said that it increased increases the defensive abilities of the whole team after the second half mark, as long as the team has a goal advantage. And the new one is updated as follows, to say that it improves the player's defensive abilities after the second half mark, as long as the team has a goal advantage. So the first one obviously was an error that it said that it, it, it added uh, defensive abilities for the entire team, which I thought, you know, was obviously a bit kind of funny because, you know, it was a bit weird why you'd need your goalkeeper on your center forward or your attacking midfielder to have defensive abilities. Obviously, maybe that means aggression, um, but I think they would have said aggression. So, yeah, I mean, let me know your thoughts on it, lads. We will have, like, uh, it, to me, it reminds me of kind of super sub, right? It reminds me of super sub where it improves a player's abilities when introduced after the second half mark. It's kind of worded that way. It's kind of said that way. And I think that, you know, obviously, if you've got two or three of these guys in the pack, you're going to be getting a boost to your defender's uh, defensive abilities. Um, um, so we will be testing that out later. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if he had spun and got compensated or let me know if he hadn't spun and you tried to spin and you're going to be spinning later. I will be streaming in about two hours. So hope to see you guys in the chat. We will talk about it a little bit more in depth then and we will be spinning on the hunt for a couple of these players as well. So I'll be back in a bit, lads. Peace.